Hey my friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Huck and on this video we're going to talk about my top 10 4K releases of 2022. So stick around. All right, now before I start jamming on this list, y'all, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Welcome. Uh, here's what you do. Get on down there, hit like, subscribe, smack the bell, because I don't just do things like this top 10, but I also get out there and I do Blu-ray hunts that are tons of fun. I do unboxings, movie reviews. I do live morning shows every Tuesday morning and live trivia shows that are tons of fun. So if any or all that stuff sounds like your jam, sounds like a good time, check out my videos. If you like what you see, please come back and hit like, subscribe, smack the bell. It, please subscribe about my New Year's resolution. I'm this close to 3,000 subscribers. And if you can get me there by mid-January, we're only like slightly 100 off or something like that. So it's a tall task, but you know, let's go people. Happy New Year. All right, let me tell you how we're doing this particular top 10. It is not in my order of preference. We're going to go in the order they were released during the year. So that way it just sort of has its position on the countdown based on that. And also, the I don't go by specs. This list isn't like, oh, these had the best picture and sound of the year. No, these are just films I'm so excited to now own on 4K. Um, you know, whether they have been there the first time or it's a movie I love and I, I wanted to get a good upgrade, or something that was just recommended to me to enjoy. So that's where we're gonna start. At number 10, and it also falls as the earliest release, released March 15th by Kino Lorber. These are my little cheat sheets so I remember when it came out. Uh, this was recommended by my friend Tim at Tim Talks Talkies, and that is The Apartment. So yeah, man, so I cannot wait to check this out. That's why this is on my list because it's something that, you know, a friend recommended and that it should be really great. You know, I could have done all ones that I've seen, but I wanted one in the countdown, you know, that, that reflects something that is someone in the community got me excited to get. And that's what this whole channel is about, this, this community is about. So I had to have one of these to reflect that sort of, um, you know, community and camaraderie. So that's number 10. Number nine was released just slightly after my birthday. My birthday is April 10th. It was released April 12th by Arrow, and that is a RoboCop, guys. Look at this thing, RoboCop on 4K. I've already watched this. I've seen all these, like I said, except for the apartment. Picture's phenomenal. And look at this. It's a big old honking juicy release, uh, in case you guys haven't seen it. You know, like you get, you get this fabulous poster that comes with it, um, and it contains both versions. So this is the newly commissioned art. And on the other side, you get the classic Robo poster, which is just dope. I love that poster. And you get this big old honking booklet. Oh man, I'm telling you, if you're a Robocop fan, all that stuff is so worth it. So very excited, Robocop. All right, number eight is uh, a collection that was released on May 10th by Universal, and that is the Alfred Hitchcock Classic Collection Volume 2. I became a huge fan of Hitchcock last year in 2022. Around May, I decided to plow through, there he is, that Blu-ray set right there, uh, all 15 of the films, and I absolutely love them. I, I'm, it's regretful that it took me so long to get to it, but at the same time, I got to experience it you know, for the first time and love them. So I'm super happy to upgrade uh, all of these titles into the 4K format. So there you go. All right, up next, uh, released July 5th by Warner Brothers. Number seven is Edge of Tomorrow, Live, Die, Repeat. What a phenomenal Tom Cruise sci-fi film. Love this film. It looks and sounds great. I mean, this is one, like, if you're going for some great reference quality stuff, this is stupendous. And Emily Blunt's terrific, too. I was so happy to upgrade this from Blu-ray to 4K, so... Edge of Tomorrow, baby. All right, next up is a Lionsgate release on July 5th. At number six is Everything Everywhere All at Once. I absolutely love this film. Uh, you'll find this film on another one of my uh, lists, which is uh, one of my favorite films of the year. Definitely made that list. Go check it out. Find out where it falls on that list. Uh, and this, of course, is the Walmart release with all the googly eyes on it. Um, I do have the, the slip cover, but I've taken some of them off just, you know, for, for show. Uh, but yeah, so... This is just a fantastic release. And here's another thing I love is they, they took the time to put, you know, artwork on the discs. Why is this so hard, y'all? I mean, it looks fantastic. You know, a lot of these things are just black or blue discs, but whatever. So they, they took a little care and um, just I love that film. And I'm so thrilled to have it on 4K. Now, the next one at number five is another collection. 
uh, and I'm doing this and you'll see why. Uh, released September 6th by Paramount. Eh, figure it out as I pick it up. What is it? You guys know what I'm a big fan of, right? I'm a huge Star Trek fan. Oh, we got all of these and I'm so happy as a Star Trek fan to have every single one of these. So they all make number five because I bought them as a collection. So here you go. You got the motion picture. You got the Rathacon. Search for Spock. The Voyage Home. The Final Frontier. And the Undiscovered Country. And I love that they stuck with using the, the poster art for each one of these original art. And this black slick looking slip with the star field on it. It just aesthetically... They rocked it. They rocked it. This is exactly what I would want my Star Trek collection to look like. They just nailed it. And they, you know, even the back is nicely laid out. Got a couple picks there, some bonus goodies. Oh, just, I'm so happy to have those. In fact, when Christmas rolled around, my wife said, what do you want? I'm like, you know, to make that a really complete thing, why don't you grab me that you know, Star Trek The Motion Picture <gasps> Collector's Edition. This thing came out way too expensive when it came out. This thing is smaller than I thought, too. Look how thin this is. I thought it was going to be like a big old box set, like maybe those Columbia Classics or something. But, man, it's uh, very thin. So when this dropped to like 40 bucks or something like that, I told her, look, now's the time. Uh, if you want to get this for Christmas, get it today because the price could change. If you, if you miss getting it, don't buy it because I do not want to pay more for this than uh, we need to. Because look, look at this thing. It's, uh, whoa, okay, it still falling out. So it's not my favorite packaging. It's pretty bad. Like you open up and the discs are just sort of inserted into these things. So not a fan of that, but it's got some, uh, some little swag over here, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it's certainly not the kind of swag that's worth like $88, but you know, 40 bucks, then the swag becomes worth it. But uh, so yeah, so to, to get all of this Star Trek stuff um, on 4K in these beautiful looking packages. Uh, oh, it's so exciting, y'all. All right, let's get, let's get to number four. Warner Brothers gave us The Lost Boys on September 20th. Very, very excited to upgrade this from the Blu-ray. It looks outstanding. I'm not a huge fan of the art. Um, in fact, that's going to come into play one more time. Uh, I, I just, I think there's so many more classic Lost Boys images I've seen, either poster art or, or just character art. Like there's a, a, a great one of Kiefer Sutherland. It's all red. He's just, he's vamping out. That would have been a kick-ass cover. So that's all good. Maybe I'll do a custom on this one, y'all, and make a Huckster original on that. All right. Now, speaking of uh, September 20th, number three, these are interchangeable because they came out the same day, is Poltergeist. I'm also stoked to get this on 4K. Uh, the Blu-ray's always been kind of just a meh release, um, and I'm still shocked they didn't go for broke on the special features on this. It's, it's still like, you know, it's, it's a Poltergeist documentary, but not necessarily about the movie, which I think is so lame. We don't need that. But it does have a making of Poltergeist, which did not exist on the Blu-ray. So, But I'm very, very excited to have this. Also, not a huge fan of that cover. I think it doesn't it doesn't scream Poltergeist, you know? Uh, but yeah, anyway, glad to have that. All right, at number two, released November 1st by Warner Brothers, another Warner Brothers title, uh, to get into the Christmas spirit, I picked up Elf. I know there was a whole bunch released, but in particular for me, I thought of all those Christmas ones, Elf really popped and, and looked fantastic and really stood out for me. So uh, it's my favorite. It's my number one Christmas movie of all time. So this is the one I was happiest to see. Got a really nice treatment. So if you haven't checked out Elf, it's a really nice upgrade. And my number one release, of course, also released, on November 1st by Paramount was, you got it, Top Gun Maverick. As my favorite film of last year. I may have just spoiled the uh, favorite movies of last year, but go check it out anyway. Uh, no surprise, this makes the list. It's a very um, reference-related disc, uh, Top Gun Maverick, because it's so it looks and sounds so phenomenal. Uh, and I got the two-pack, you know, because I really, really uh, wanted both of them, and I didn't have uh, Top Gun the original Top Gun, even on Blu-ray at this point. So this was a real upgrade for me for the original title because I just had the two-disc special edition DVD, and now I've got it on 4K. I got that one on 4K, and I'm super pumped. So my friends, that is it. That is my top 10 4Ks released 
in the year 2022. Let me know in the comments below, what did you think of these selections? What is your top 10? If you got a list that you love as well, share it with me in the comments down below. That's going to do it for today. Thank you so much. And if you're new to my channel one more time, if you enjoyed this, please get down there, hit like, subscribe, and smack the bell. It really does help my channel out a lot. I'm shooting for the 3K. Help me get there. I appreciate it. Until next time, enjoy some movies, and I'll catch you later.